understanding on heavy rotation grasping the phrase in everyday english hello everyone and welcome back to our channel today we're going to unravel the meaning and usage of a very interesting english phrase on heavy rotation if you've stumbled upon this phrase in songs conversations or even in articles and wondered what it exactly means you're in the right place Let's dive into the fascinating world of English phrases together. The phrase, on heavy rotation, originates from the broadcasting and music industry. Initially, it referred to songs or music videos that were played frequently on radio stations or music channels. However, its usage has broadened over time. Now, it can refer to anything that is used, seen, or done repeatedly within a short time frame. When you say something is, on heavy rotation, you imply that it's receiving a lot of attention or use. To fully grasp the phrase, let's look at how it can be used in various contexts. 1. Music and media, as its origin suggests, you can use it when talking about a song that's being played frequently on the radio. For instance, the new hit single by the artist is on heavy rotation across all major radio stations. 2. Fashion. It can also be used in a fashion context to describe a favorite piece of clothing or accessory worn frequently. For example, her red scarf has been on heavy rotation this winter. 3. Daily life. In everyday language, it might refer to frequently repeated activities or habits. For instance, this week, going to the gym has been on heavy rotation in my schedule. Understanding synonyms and related phrases can enrich your vocabulary. Here are a few. In high demand, frequently used, regularly featured, these phrases carry a similar meaning and can be used interchangeably depending on the context. And that wraps up our discussion on the phrase, on heavy rotation. From radio stations to personal wardrobes, this phrase has found its way into various aspects of our daily communication. We hope this video has been informative and has added a catchy phrase to your English vocabulary. Don't forget to practice using it in your conversations. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the richness of the English language. Goodbye and take care.